such a beautiful day for a tea party. Isn't that right, Teddy? Boldos are coming through! Brum, brum, brum. Best box ever! <laughs> <laughs> Left turn! Boldos! Sorry, Bunny. What did you say? Oh, yes. It <laughs> is a perfect day. Hey, I can't see where we're going! <gasps> ah! Run for your life! <laughs> oh, no! Bunny! Are you okay? Talk to me, Bunny! Ah! Eddie and Kobe bulldozing service! How can we help you? You can help us by cleaning up our tea party. Oops. You guys should be more careful. I said oops. It was an accident. You squished Bunny. We didn't mean to. Guys, we were just playing. But look what you did. Guys, you broke the teacup. Guys! Let's do something fun together. Like what? Well, you were already having a tea party. Why don't we all play restaurant? That's a great idea, Sophie. Let's go to the restaurant. And I get to be head chef. Why can't I be head chef? Because your tea party wasn't wrecked. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Wait up! Come in! Sit down! What would you like today? I know you're thirsty. Food is coming right up. Okay, big crowd. You can do this, Tessa. Two bowls of chicken food and one bowl of cow food. Coming right up, Mia. Thanks. I need four bowls of cow feed and four bowls of sheep food. some food, Tessa style. <gasps> ah. Oh no! Do the cows get the brown food or is that for the pigs? Do you have my order? They're getting really hungry out there. Uh, sure. You can give the chickens the green food and the cows the yellow food. Great job, Chef Tessa. Oh. Was it brown food for sheep or green food? <laughs> Very good. Would you like water with that? <laughs> Oh, uh, Chef, we've got a problem. 
You better come out here. The animals are acting like each other instead of themselves. <gasps> What in the name of crazy critters is going on here? Should we take them back to the farm? Yeah, the farm might help them remember how they're supposed to act. Great idea, guys. These mixed-up animals need some farm schooling. Come <gasps> <laughs> on, piggy piggies. Look, it's mud. Beautiful pig mud. <laughs> You're pigs, not sheep. You like mud. Mud is... Mm. Ah! <laughs> Fun, see? You can make mud pies. Come on, please roll around in the mud. <laughs> Cows, don't lay eggs! Move! Tell me what a chicken says. Anyone? <coughs> Just a guess? <coughs> nice bull. I mean, rooster. Just moo all you want. Think happy thoughts. <coughs> Now that's something you don't see every day. What's wrong with these animals? They were fine when they came to the restaurant. Aw, oh, rats. What if I gave them the wrong food? Maybe I didn't clean out the water glasses right. Maybe I did something wrong. Could be my fault. It was so busy in there. Guys, it was me. I knocked over the signs in front of the food bin, and I didn't remember which one went where. So I just guessed. You mixed up the animal food. Why didn't you say something? I, uh, I didn't want you to know I made a mistake. Don't be embarrassed. It was an accident. You should have told us. <laughs> Maybe we could have helped you figure out the right food to feed them. I remember the sign with the pig on it was all the way at the end. Yeah, and the sign with the cow was next to the pig sign. And wasn't the sheep sign next to... Yeah, right in between the cow and the chicken. That's, That's it. it! I wish I had told you right away. We could have all figured it out together before there was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's feed them the right food and see if it works. Everything's back to normal. You guys are the best. I'm sorry I got us into this mess. It's okay, Tessa. There's no problem too big for us to handle. <laughs> Including that one. <laughs> 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 Okay, you can look. Oh, great, the box. Thanks. This is a magic box. Tap it three times. Surprise! Aw, you guys fixed it up. 
Thank you. Won't you join our tea party? Sure. Thanks. I know. Let's make this a special tea party for animal kids. I'll start. Your turn, Kobe. Uh, moo, moo. Eddie? Um, ba, 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 Here I come. <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm too fast. <laughs> You're not going to get me. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Could somebody please unfreeze me? I really have to scratch my nose. Why doesn't anyone want to play Princess Mia? You're next. Come back, Tessa. <laughs> no, sir. Uh-uh. Gotcha, Mia. I'm not playing freeze tag. Princess Mia is way better. Eddie, playing Princess Mia is... Scratch my nose! Scratch my nose! In Princess Mia, we all go to the funnest place in the entire world. Ah, uh, yeah. Sounds great, Mia. <laughs> yeah. In my game, there's a big castle. Castles are cool, but I'm frozen. And there's a bird on my head. <laughs> Come back, Tessa! <laughs> in Princess Mia's funnest place in the entire world, there are rides. Did you say rides? Is there a carousel? Definitely. With the fastest ponies you've ever seen. Does it have a big balloon ride? Bigger than biggest. Are there fairy tale characters? Uh-huh. Awesome! Yeah! Let's go! Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, where's the music? Um, a little help. Oops. I'll unfreeze you, Kobe. There. Thanks, Tessa. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Welcome to the funnest place in the entire world. I'm Humpty Dumpty, and I'll be your tour guide today. And I'm the Gingerbread Woman. We're here to make sure you have the best... T -t 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 Tiara! She's the princess! Your, your majesty. majesty. Thank you. You can call me Princess Mia. Princess? princess. You and your loyal subjects are most royally welcome here. We're Mia's loyal subjects? Whoa, look at that trampoline! Let's go bounce! Ahem. Only the princess can give the royal command to start bouncing. We may now go and play. Your wish is our command. Oh boy, can't wait. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Look at me! We've been looking at you, Mia, for about two zillion hours. Think someone else can have a turn? The princess is almost done. Wow, beautiful bouncing, your highness. On to the carousel. Finally, 
Bouncy. The princess has left. Bouncing time is officially over! What? That's not fair. Isn't this fun? Come on, you guys! I guess Mia wants her loyal subjects to follow her. <laughs> Faster, Orsi! Faster! <laughs> Every inch a princess. I could watch her all day. I think we already have. Okay, bored now. I'm feeling... Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty? Majesty. <gasps> Balloonish! Come along now. You heard what the princess said. Oh, this is oh, not fun. Boring. I guess we can forget about the carousel. Yeah, Yay! but the balloon ride is going to be fun. <laughs> You mean it would have been fun. Woohoo! My kingdom is so beautiful. You should see the view from up here. Anyone else get the feeling the funnest place in the entire world is only fun for Princess Mia? Wee! <laughs> Ooh, perfect princess landing, your majesty. Where'd everybody go? Over there, playing some silly game. <laughs> You're in again! Oh, no, again. You get me, I got you! Clearly, they don't know how to behave around a princess. They should be honored to watch you having fun, especially when you do it so well. I am pretty good at it, aren't I? To the throne room. You know what this place is perfect for? Hide and seek! Excellent! I'll count to ten, and you hide. Where would you like us to hide, Your Majesty? Anywhere. But where would it please you to have us hide? If I know where you're hiding, it'll be too easy for me to find you. And then you'll win! Hooray for Princess Mia! Just hide! One, two, three... I'm hiding over here, Your Highness! <sighs> uh, um, I'm hiding behind the curtains now, Your Majesty. And I'm still hiding behind your throne. This isn't any fun. Let's do something else. Ooh, something else is a wonderful idea. But what else? <laughs> you're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. I'm not frozen. I'm frozen. I'm gonna freeze you. How about... Freeze tag. Brilliant! Brilliant. Gotcha! You're, You're frozen. frozen! You, you win, win, Princess Mia! Mia. Do you guys even know how to play? It's no fun if you keep letting me win. Come with me. <sighs> yes, Princess Mia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'd like to say something. No music! Yes, Your Majesty. What does Your Royal Highness want? I'm sorry for being all princessy and stuff. Anything you guys want to play is all right with me. Anything in the whole world. Well, we were about to play jump rope. That sounds fun! One, two, buckle my shoe! Three, four, knock on the door! I don't know what to do, Your Majesty. Jump in, it's fun. And call me Mia. Uh, five, six, pick up sticks. <laughs> Seven, eight, lay them straight. You were right, Mia. It is more fun for everyone to play together. I'm glad we finally figured that out. Now this really is the funnest place in the world. <laughs> it's like me.
Instead of me making up a fairy tale, let's all make up a story together. Great! Cool. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a princess. Your turn, Sophie. And, um, there was a... Horrible, terrible, fire-breathing dragon! Kobe? Rawr! Eddie? A brave and very handsome knight came to save the princess. Tessa? But the princess didn't need saving because all the dragon wanted was to roast a giant marshmallow. Sophie? How about a little heat, Mr. Dragon? Roar! That's awesome! The handsome knight loves roasted marshmallows. Yeah! Me too! Give me some. Mm. Yum. Mm. Looks good. My favorite. And we all lived happily ever after. Marshmallow tag! <laughs> <laughs> it was a hot day in the backyard, hotter than a sausage on safari. But I had a case to crack. A case about a missing cookie. And a teddy bear with a secret. <gasps> so, Mr. Bear, you were the last one seen near the cookie jar. What do you have to say about that? Not talking, eh? Think you look innocent, eh? You don't look innocent to me. But he couldn't have taken it. He's a good teddy. There's no one else who could have taken the cookie. Absolutely no one. Stop right there, mister. Is that a cookie in your hand? Uh-uh. Aha! Uh -huh. So it was you, Eddie Sticky Fingers. Yes, I admit it. Mm. You caught me, Sherlock Sophie. I knew it wasn't you. You're a good bear, aren't you? Yes, you are. The case of the missing cookie is solved! Hooray! Hooray! That was a great play. You sounded just like a real detective, Sophie. I want to be a real detective. I love solving crimes, especially with my new detective kit. Here's my flashlight, my magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, Mia. That badge is for detectives only. I want to be a detective. It takes a lot of hard work to be a detective. You have to practice finding clues, solving mysteries, cracking cases. Oh. That's why they call me Detective Sherlock Sophie. So where's our next case, Sherlock Sophie? I say we go on an adventure to the farm. Maybe there's a rotten rabbit up to no good. Or a dastardly duck. <laughs> <laughs> or a lost lamb. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got crimes to solve. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Sing this song Sing this song We sing this song Hey, hey, we've got an adventure When we got to the farm, mystery was in the air. I'm looking for a crime to solve, just like a real detective. So, can I be a detective now? Well, you can be a junior detective. Do I get to wear a badge? Junior detectives don't get badges, but you can guard my detective stuff until I come back. Okay. Hmm. Ah! Moo! Moo! Is 
something wrong? My bell! The shiny bell I wear around my neck, it's gone! It was there on the stool. I turned around to eat some oats, then suddenly, no more bell. Marge, did you lose the bell again? The one I got you for your birthday? I didn't lose it, Bernie. It was there, and then it just disappeared. Or someone took it. <laughs> Sounds like a mystery to me. Marge, are you sure you didn't leave it somewhere? I'm sure it's the ring in your nose. Ha! Huh! Where is your nose ring? The one I got you for your birthday. I took it out to blow my nose. It's right over here on the bench. The bench! It's empty! Someone stole my nose ring! This is definitely a case for Detective Sherlock Sophie. Hmm. We need clues. Not feathers. I'll get my detective kit. <gasps> my detective badge is gone! And so is Mia. Mia really wanted that badge, and I left her here guarding my detective kit. Do you think that Mia... Mia took the badge. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm a detective, Kobe. Of course I'm sure. Feathers! What I have to find are... Aha! Uh -huh. Footprints! A clue! Come on, let's follow them. Yes! Come on! I can't believe it! Mia took Sophie's badge. She does like shiny stuff. My bell is shiny. I'll bet Mia took that too. And my nose ring. When we find Mia, she's going to have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, maybe Mia didn't take. Let me handle this, Kobe. I have a badge. Well, I had a badge. Help! 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 <sighs> Phew. Thanks. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught red-handed. Huh? You took my detective badge. And my bell. And my nose ring. The mystery is solved. Mia did it. <laughs> me? No. Honest. Let me explain. Okay, but it better be good. I was guarding the detective kit like you told me to. And then I saw something fall out of the sky. Huh? A black feather. I looked back and saw a bird with black feathers. And it had your badge. Stop! Come back! I followed the bird and saw it drop the badge into a nest. <sighs> there were other shiny things in there, too. Then I slipped. Ah! <sighs> and that's when you guys showed up. Do you expect us to believe that? Look, everyone! It's a magpie. Scientific fact, magpies love shiny things. See? I told you. The magpie took all the stuff. All right, okay, you got me. I took all of it. When I see shiny stuff, I, I, I just can't help myself. Here, take it, take it all. The feathers were clues. And I didn't realize that, but you did. Mia, I'm really, really sorry I blamed you for taking my badge. That's okay, Sophie. Here's your badge back. No, you deserve to wear it. You're not a junior detective, you're a real detective. Wow, thanks! 
Let's hear it for Detective Mia! Impressive! Good work, Mia! Yay, Mia! Great job! <laughs> there it goes! Look at it fly! Wow, it's so high! Oh no! Our plane! How are we gonna get it down? This is a job for... Super Ready! Only Super Ready can lift a rocket ship with his bare hands! And only Super Ready has the superpowers to rescue an airplane from... Super Tessa to the rescue! Huh? Super Tessa? No way! This backyard's not big enough for two superheroes. But if Sophie and I can both be detectives, maybe you and Tessa can both be superheroes. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, Super Tessa, show me your power! <laughs> We're both superheroes! <laughs> I'm flying! See me flying with my superpowers? <laughs> The amazing Kobe will turn this bunny into an elephant right before your very eyes. Please welcome my assistants, Mia and Tessa. We are a robot alien from outer space. Why are you wearing that costume? We thought it would make the trick even more amazing, Earth magician. Uh, okay. Well, assistant, robot, alien from space. Help me hold this, please. Abracadabra! Abracadelephant! Turn this bunny into an elephant! Wow, that was amazing. I mean, that was amazing. Wow, that was so great! Woohoo! Awesome trick, Kobe. I don't know. I'm still learning. But someday, I'm going to do really great tricks for a big audience. Why wait? Kobe, you can do your big magic show now. Yeah. How about in the jungle? The animals will love your tricks. Um, okay. We're off to the jungle. Hit it, Ziggy. We've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. is this? Hey, hi. Welcome to Gerald's Jungle Joint. I am Gerald. Hi, hi Gerald. Gerald. Nice to meet you. Bet you put on some cool shows here. You betcha. We do the coolest magic shows in the jungle. This is the amazing Kobe, and he's the coolest magician we know. Maybe Kobe could put on a big magic show in your club. Absolutely. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, amazing Kobe. Give me some skin. 
Look I'll tell all the animals about your show, Kobe. Then these will come in handy. Whoa! Whoa look at that! That's so cool! So, let's talk magic. Okay. Check this out. As you see, this log is empty. Nothing inside this log. Cool. Wow. <gasps> I hold in my hand, fresh from the tree, a coconut. Or is it? Best. No, no. Tell me about your tricks. Well, I kind of turned this little, uh, rabbit into an elephant. No! I bet they love it when you turn a little rabbit into a giant elephant. Well, they did stand up and applaud and cheer and stuff. A standing ovation! I like you, Kobeo. You do? Tell me about your other tricks. Uh, okay. Did you ever hear of the robot alien from Space Trick? No, but I love aliens. Well, I made this robot alien appear from space, and it has two heads. Come see the amazing Kobe! Magic show at Gerald's Jungle Joint! Come one, come all! One show only! That's when I make the alien from outer space fly over the audience and way up into the sky. Spectacular, Obi Obiolio. So, are you gonna do that trick today? Oh, well, Gerald, Gerald, Dio. I don't know if. I mean, it's your club. Maybe you should. This is your show. They'll love you. Kobe. We got a really big audience. They're waiting for the show to start. Already? This is gonna be great. Kobe was telling me all about his amazing tricks. Like... <coughs> <coughs> Something stuck in my throat. Like turning a little bunny into a huge elephant. He did? That's not what I... <laughs> this guy. What a magician. Turns two of you into an alien and makes you fly. I can't believe it! Yeah, I can't believe it either. Um, maybe you guys should, uh, go get your seats? Okay, sure. Good luck, Kobe. I want to see this. Well, kobe it's showtime! Uh, Kobe? You okay? Gerald, there's something I have to tell you. I can't turn a real rabbit into a huge elephant, and I didn't turn my friends into an alien, and I didn't make anyone fly. I just told you that stuff because you're a great magician, and I wanted you to like me. Kobe, Kobe Obio, you didn't have to make all that up. I like you fine. But I'm not a great magician. Not yet, anyway. But you're a great guy. And by being honest with me, you performed the greatest magic of all. You turned a stranger into a friend. You better get out there. But I don't think I can. I'm not that good. I'm just... You're just learning, and that's fine. Tell you what, Kobe. Why don't we put on a magic show together? We? Us? Really? <laughs> and now, Gerald's Jungle Joint presents the amazing Kobe and his handsome assistant, Gerald.
<laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Pitcher Kobe winds up, and... Whoa! Oh no! My peanut jelly and butter sandwiches! We're gonna need a bigger field, and I need some more lunch. Yay! Every team they want to pick her, cause she's such an awesome kicker! We really do need a bigger place to play. Somewhere I can blast one for miles. Mia might need some tougher competition, too. I know. We can play against the three little pigs. They have the best team in all fairy tale land. Great idea. Don't worry, Eddie. We'll bring a picnic. Can we have your famous peanut jelly and butter sandwiches? Sure. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Sing this song Sing this song Wait up! Look, everyone! Whoa! Wow! Oh, yeah! This is the perfect spot. Let's set everything up so we can have a picnic right after our game. Yeah, we're gonna be hungry. I'll help Sophie make the sandwiches. We'll set up the chairs. That just leaves the umbrella for some shade. Mia, can you set up the umbrella? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's not an umbrella. Oh, well, the umbrella's easy. I just gotta practice the Mega Mia kick before the three little pigs get here. <laughs> Done. 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 Steady Yeti is ready for kickball. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Just
just need to set up the bases. And get in a little practice. But the umbrella still has to be set up. Those sandwiches will get all melty in the sun. Mia... Oh, right. Umbrella. Yeah! Hooray! <laughs> Don't start without me! Majesty. I was hoping you'd ask. Would you set up the picnic umbrella on the table so I can go... do princess things? Like play kickball? Your wish is our command, Your Highness. We love setting up picnic umbrellas. Picnic umbrellas are our favorite. Um, just one question. What's a picnic umbrella? Um, and what exactly do we do with it? It's easy. You'll figure it out. Thanks. Gotta run. Oh, oh. oh. check me for cracks. Oh, you're okay. What's with the outfit? Oh, I always play in this. You got the umbrella set up okay? Taken care of. Oh, here comes the three little pigs. And they're two big cousins. Let's play kickball. Princess. Uh, I forgot something. Be right back. Hang on. <laughs> it's gobbling me up! Umbrellas don't gobble. Here. Ah. <sighs> Still in one piece. Those things are dangerous. It's just an umbrella. All you have to do is open it and put it in the middle of the table. So, bye! Oops! <laughs> I'm getting gobbled again! <laughs> rats! 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 <sighs> they started without me! Whoa! Your Majesty! Whoa! More like it's got you! Grab him! Oh, a million rats! Hey, Mia! What have you been doing? Yeah, we missed you for the game. Well, I... Um... <laughs> and where's the, um... Umbrella. We did it, we did it, we did it! The umbrella's over the table! My lunch! Oh, I feel all scrambled up. Uh, I, um... I just asked him for some help. Well, actually, I asked him to do it for me. Didn't quite work out, huh? No, I'm sorry. I should have just done it myself. But I wanted to play kickball so much. <sighs> now they've ruined everything. Okay, I've ruined everything. Well, maybe we can unruin everything. Yeah, we're a team after all. 
Really? Thanks, guys. Got it, Your Majesty. No! I mean, thanks, but I can do this myself. Like I promised I would. Yeah! Hooray! Hooray! How does she do it? Come on, let's all eat. I can't believe I missed the game. <gasps> Did you win? We lost. Pretty bad. Yeah, those pigs mean business. But after lunch, we're having a rematch. And we could really use Mia and her mega kick. All right. <laughs> yes! Show us how to make a pyramid. Okay. The secret of making a pyramid is everyone, every one of us, has to do their part. Ready? Uh huh. Yes. Ready? Yep. So Eddie, Sophie, and I will be on the bottom. Mia and Tessa can be on the top. <laughs> 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 Don't forget Mr. Bunny! <laughs> wow! We did it! Yes, we did! We just have to keep it nice and tight, all together. Go away! Shuby, get out of here! Whoa! Save the yard from creatures from outer space. Looks like we need to save the yard from Super Eddie. It's not that messy. Ugh. Whoa! Who left that there? You did. Okay. I'll help clean up the yard. I just need to do one thing first. What's that? Go on an adventure to the jungle. Hey, everyone! Who wants to come to the jungle with me? Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's go. Nah, I think I'll stay here. Me too. What? It's going to be fun. Okay, I'll come along. But we still have to clean up later. No problem. I promise. Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Isn't that one of the Queen's royal guards? Mm. Uh. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm in a terrible hurry. I need to roll this egg all the way to the stone throne. Why can't you just carry your egg? Running, I can do. Carrying <laughs> is a little trickier. Oh, if only there was some young, brave group of egg movers who I could enlist to help me. We're brave. 
We'll be your egg movers. Oh, will you? Will, will we? we? Sure. How hard can it be? Oh, I'd be so grateful. You will take care of it, won't you? It's extremely delicate and fragile. It's an egg, after all. Don't worry. So Brady's on the case. I promise we'll take special care of it. Oh, thank you. How far is the stone thrown? Um, quite far. How far? Do you see the tallest tree in the distance? And the hill behind it? Well, it's just beyond that. Oh, and did I mention the rocky path and all the fallen down trees? Mm -hmm. Must run. Farewell, little one. Don't hatch without me. I know what we need. This will get us to the stone throne. All aboard the Egg Mover Express. Let's go nice and slow! Oh. Eddie, slow down! There's an egg back there, remember? Relax. Super Eddie is always ready. I know what I'm doing. <gasps> End of the road! I got it, I got it! Oh, I don't got it. Super Eddie to the rescue! Eddie! Woo! Last one to the bottom is a rotten! Oh no! The name of dribbling dewdrops is going on here. Try this, monkeys. <laughs> oh no! Eddie, you made a promise to be careful with the egg. Remember? Relax. They're only monkeys. What could go wrong? <laughs> you see? Whew. Now come on, Eddie. Let's get... Eddie! We're just playing catch. Uh-oh. Follow that egg! Remember? It was sort of pink. Yes, with little blue dots. That's right. And a red stripe. It must be here somewhere. I found it. All right. Yay, Tessa. I'll take it. No, no way. way. What do you mean? I got the egg this far. Yeah, and you almost broke it, too. From now on, We'll all take care of the egg together. You're right. I guess I got a little carried away. I'll try to be more careful. I promise. Huh? We better get moving. This egg sounds ready to hatch. But how are we gonna get it there in time without breaking it? I know how. But we're gonna need some branches and lots of leaves. Here's one that might work.
goodness me! Thank you, thank you, thank you! How's that for timing? Wow, baby ostriches sure look funny. <laughs> That's not a baby ostrich. You think it's a dinosaur? I think it's a big green chicken. I say it's an alligator. My, my. You have such good imaginations. Presenting Her Majesty, the Queen. Your Majesty. Mama, Mama. My little hatchling, you made it safe and sound. You mean this was your egg? Of course. These trusty egg movers transported your egg for me. They kept their promise exquisitely, ma'am. I am very grateful. Soup Ready saves the day again! <clears throat> I mean, Soup Ready couldn't have done it without its friends. They helped me keep my promise. Well, in that case, you're all invited to join me for some refreshments to celebrate the arrival of my little hatchling. A nice cold drink. Just what I needed after a long hike through the jungle. Eddie? I think he's thirsty, Eddie. Eddie? Eddie? Here you go, little guy. Looks like Eddie's made a new friend. Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this place. Don't worry, Sophie. This time, I'll clean up. Super Eddie always keeps his promises. Uh. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Eddie! <sighs> You're keeping your promise and that's really great. But why don't you slow down and then we can all help? Um, sure. I'll go tortoise speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that is the smallest apple ever. But it won't come down. I'm tired of waiting. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Just uh, getting warmed up. Boing, boing, boing! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. <laughs> Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah, Big Apple Island. Great, let's go. All right. Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew! Yeah, gross, right? Well, see ya. Come on, Tessa, let's go! Worms, yuck. We've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song.
quiet. And where did all the apple trees go? Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall. But I wonder why. Look! There's an apple tree! Now those are big apples! Stop! Don't touch those apples. You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh, but he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall. To keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. Ooh, it's the angry apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah. Apples aren't angry, they're yummy. Except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms, yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh, okay. But you'll regret it. What if there is an angry apple and there's a giant worm inside making it angry? And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. <laughs> oh, really? We'll see. They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. <clears throat> but do not touch them. <gasps> Wait up! <sighs> Behold, the angry apple. is one huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No. I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> be careful, Sophie. This apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry. No worms. I promise. Thank goodness. 
I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. Come on, everybody. One, two, three, punch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm free! 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 You defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief. Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up. There was no Angry Apple. Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good! Best apple pie ever! See, no angry apple. And no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> Another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry! Super Ready is Super Ready! Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up! Where is this beast? Uh... Under my stool. It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> there you are, Nibbles. I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good. When do we eat? Love your pirate picnic, Emma. Thank you. Did you notice how all the sandwich ships are floating perfectly on Sandwich Sea? I didn't know pirate stuff could be so sparkly and pretty. You made these hats? Of course I did, silly. I made all of this with my own two little hands. I love bedazzling. Do you? I'll show you how. Can we eat first? Like, right now? Uh-uh-uh. Done. Now it's all and amazing and ready to eat. Mmm. Hey, guys. Hey, Jack. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. This is delicious. Why do you have to munch? Like such a messy monkey. He does this all the time at home. Oh, I can't help it if your sandwiches are so yummy. Mm. Mm. Jack! What? Oh, Fooey! I wanted to share the most special, perfect, and amazing pirate picnic with you all. But now it's all... well... It's all messed up. Sorry. Emma, maybe an adventure would cheer you up. Yeah, like a real pirate adventure. <sighs> pirate adventure? Let's go! We can wear our sparkly hats. Definitely. I'm going to stay and work on some moves for my dance party. Woo! 
can I help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <clears throat> See you later. Let's cast off, mateys. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Wait up! <gasps> Where do the pirates go? Pirates, ahoy! Yo ho! Hey, pirates! <laughs> Looks that way. <laughs> Stop it, monkeys! <laughs> Bad monkeys! <laughs> hey, monkeys! like to have the best, most wonderful, perfect pirate day ever. <laughs> so, you just go relax while I, Emma, make your day Emma amazing. Hey, it's what I do. Let's get to work. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, would you be a super-duper helper and call the monkey pirates to the table? <laughs> Ooh, I think they like it. You do? Of course. Who doesn't adore sparkly things? And they'll just go bananas for this. Banana burgers! <laughs> hey! Get off the table! Sit <laughs> down! <laughs> hey! Wait up! Maybe if we sit... <laughs> guys! Guys! <laughs> sit nicely! Please! <laughs> Let me show you the proper way to eat bananas. But they're monkeys! There's a proper way for everything. See? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> no! Not like that! Not good. Run for your life! But my perfect pirate ship party! Huh? Are you OK? 
okay, Emma? I just wanted to make the best, most amazing, wonderful pirate day. <sighs> Delicious! <laughs> Sophie, look! The pirate monkeys are doing everything Jack's doing. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. I can't believe it. They're all imitating Jack. That'll happen with monkeys. Jack, this is amazing. You saved the day perfectly. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you, Ella. Maybe being a monkey mouth isn't always such a bad thing. <laughs> I guess sometimes you've just got to let people be who they are. And let monkeys be monkeys. And now it's time for Tessa's Dance Party! Okay, remember, just like we practiced. Hit it, Ziggy! Party, and you're supposed to dance Tessa style. Oh, rat. Guess I got carried away. I kind of like Mia's dancing. Me too, especially that part when you. Oh, yeah, dance party. Oh, yeah. That was really so cute. Tessa's style is great, but so is Mia's style. Bunny, Teddy, and Zebra liked it too. <laughs> Tessa, sometimes it's fun to try different styles, too. Yeah, and Mia does have some interesting moves. Mia, could you show me what you were doing with the, uh... Definitely. It stopped raining! Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, look! A rainbow! Cool! Wow! Wow! It's perfect! Tessa, look! Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Oh, rats! It's gone already! Aha! Here they are. Wait till you see my new trick. The Tessa Turple Twirl. Isn't it a little muddy for roller skating? Mud is great for roller skating. Come on, I'll show you. Whose is this? Oh, that's mine. It is, but it's pink. Yeah, cool, huh? Look. Your head looks like an alien spaceship. Yes! Ugh. 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 Just need to pump those arms. Um, Tessa, I'm not sure that's gonna work. Sure it will. Sleepy snails move faster than that. But I wanna show you my trick. Looks like we'll have to wait for the ground to get dry. Or come up with a new trick called Stuck in the Mud. 
<laughs> hey, I know! We can go somewhere without all this mud. But where? Skating through the jungle would be cool. Jungle skating would be so cool. I can show you my trick there. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song come from? Are they unicorn trails? Fairy dust? magic -y twinkle wishes? Uh, no. Whoa. It's when beams of sunlight shine through drops of rain. Same thing. Hey, guys, watch me! Uh, uh, pump those arms! Pump those... Uh, Tessa. What? You're not going anywhere. Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> it's too muddy here, too. But my trick is really cool. You know where it isn't muddy? Where? Up on the rainbow. I bet it's smooth and shiny. Perfect for skating. The rainbow! Great idea, Mia! And my trick will be even better up there. But how do we get there? It'll take forever skating through the mud. We gotta go quick. Unicorn Fairy Twinkle Dreams don't last very long. What about the jungle bus? It should be due just about... <laughs> now, to the rainbow! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! I'm trying! Try harder! Stop the bus! <laughs> what? No! Look! The Queen of Jungle Land! matter with her? She's fine. I don't think she is. We should try and help her. Uh, okay. But we've got to be quick. Help! Don't worry. It's ready, Eddie, to the rescue! on my way to the rainbow and somehow got in a bit of a spin. That's where we're heading. Whoa. Want a ride? That would be wonderful. Okay, let's move it, people. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Come oh. on, come on, come. Whoa. Colby! Let's go. <gasps> That's 
does my trick. But he needs help. He needs a helmet, like mine. Okay. But make it fast. Oh, oopsie daisy. Leave it to Steady Eddie. No? We'll do it together. Whoa! I think so. I was on my way to the rainbow, and everything went dark. Hey, we're going there. Want a ride? Ah, yeah. Thank you. Hurry up, we're going to miss it. Ugh. Kobe! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Trees! <laughs> but... Ugh. <sighs> We're never going to get there. What in the name of prancing poodles is going on? <laughs> How are we supposed to get those elephants down? Hey, I know. If we park the bus under the branch, they can climb down onto it. Great idea. Thank you. Good thinking, Sophie. And while you do that, I'll go catch the rainbow. So at least somebody gets a chance to skate on it. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. Those arms. <sighs> what happened, Tessa? Where's the rainbow? We spent so much time helping, we missed all the fun. What fun did you miss? The rainbow. It's disappeared. Rainbows? Well, they're our specialty. They are? Sure. Here. <laughs> More fun than skating alone. On or off a rainbow. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow! This Yay! is cool! <laughs> what you doing? Trying to seesaw, but it's stuck. How about now? Wee! <laughs> Rats! Oh, here. Now I'm stuck. Ready, Yeti, to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone! Whoa, the rainbow! Wow, it's back! Oh, it's so pretty. Let's go back and skate some more! Grab your skates! Hooray! What do you think? How about this, Mia? It's Mia's Fairy Tale Theater presents The Boy Who Cried Wolf, not The Pirate Who Cried Wolf. How about The Boy Who Cried Super Eddie? Save my pet monkey? Boy Who Cried Wolf. That ferocious dragon's about to eat up all those poor, innocent animals. <laughs> they can only be saved by Joking Jack the Dragon uh -huh. Jack. Jack, what are you doing? I'm here to help you, Super Eddie. Hey, Dragon, what did the egg say about the fork? <laughs> Beats me. Get it? Because you beat an egg with a fork? <laughs> Dragons are defenseless against a good joke. Joking Jack uses his super funny powers to make the monster laugh and saves the day. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling. Wait, what's that? A super emergency? What? What is it? A very special Super Eddy adventure! Great, I'll come with you! Sorry, only one superhero at a time! Sophie, Kobe, 
I need some music for my Super Eddy adventure. Mia, we'll be right back. How about this hat? No! Hm. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. There's always trouble brewing somewhere. But where? Whoa, 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 whoa. Aha! There! Look out! Pizza delivery guy coming through. Hot pizza! Never fear! It's Super Ready to the rescue! I got it! I got it! I. Look out! Uh... Right? It's the old collapsing pizza boxes gag. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, one and all. I'm Funny Bone in the Funny Zone. All right. <laughs> Anybody here need saving? Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Funny bone. No. Okay, I'll just be, you know, flying around, protecting you all from disasters and stuff. That sounds like trouble. And trouble means it's time for Super Ready to the Rescue. Super Eddy, glad you could make it, pal. You like my big balloon? This guy's not scary. He just wants to dance. Come on! <laughs> All you have to do is wave your arms around and look like this guy. <laughs> Funny bone in the funny zone. So, anyone need some superhero help? Save your cat? Carry your groceries home? No? Well, I guess I'll just be, um, on my way. Funny bone, funny bone. What's so great about him? I'm the superhero. Hello! Hello there. Lovely day. It's Prince Piggington. He can't drive that tractor. He'll crash, and he's heading right for the farm. Royal greetings, all. <laughs> Everybody, Super Ready is here to stop that tractor. Hello there. Ha! The old remote control tractor gag. A classic, am I right? Classic? Oh, yes. Funny bone in the funny zone. <laughs> <laughs> Guess they want a super clown, not a superhero. <laughs> not a problem. 
them, folks. That's what the stop button's for. <laughs> or not. <laughs> hey, you! Come back here! Super ready! Help! Oh, right. Like, I'm going to help him. Real heroes don't do what they want to do. They do what they should do. <laughs> now this definitely looks like a job for Super Ready! a super ready adventure. How did you? I followed you here. I was just trying to make you laugh. That's my superpower. I thought you'd like my jokes, and then you'd like me and want me to be your partner. But I guess I messed up. It was pretty funny. The pizza boxes. Right? Super funny. And that crazy dancing guy and Prince Piggington in the tractor. So, we can be partners? Well, Super Eddie and a sidekick Funny Bone could work. Wait a minute, why shouldn't you be my sidekick? Um, cause I'm the one who can fly? I can make everyone laugh. I can lift tractors. Oh, but that's so special. It's time like for me. That's me! This is the story of the boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, there was a shepherd boy. Bah. The shepherd boy wanted people to notice him. So he cried, Wolf! Wolf! His neighbor came running. Wait, I don't see any wolf. Me neither. Wanna play? Ugh. And he did it again. Wolf! Wolf! There isn't any wolf! I know. Wanna play? Nah, not right now. But then, a real wolf came along. Arr, wolfy, wolfiness! Wolf! But no one believed the shepherd boy because he cried wolf before and... Where you been, Wolfie? I've been calling ya and calling ya. Wanna play? Play? No! You're supposed to be scared of the wolf. Why? We're friends. And you're supposed to scare the shepherd boy. I don't want to scare him. I want to make him laugh because we're friends. Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you, watch out. Oh, oh, no. No. don't eat me, we're friends. <laughs> <sighs> and so the shepherd boy and the wolf laughed and played and no one was scared. <laughs> and I have no idea why I just told you this story. The end. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Okay, when I say three, ready? One, two, three. Hey guys, what you doing? Playing the game for big kids. Can I play? You can try, but you might be too little. Yeah, we're seeing who can jump up and hang from the monkey bar the longest. And you've got to be super strong. Or half orangutan. Are you part orangutan? I don't think so. But I can pick you up. <laughs> easy, easy, Kobe, squeezy. Well, okay, but don't blame me if your arms fall off. I won't. Okay, ready? One, two, three! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Mm, you're right. This is hard. Guys! Snack time! Yay! <laughs> Maybe she is half orangutan. What's for snack, Sophie? Jelly. Is that all? Yeah. She found it in the sandbox. Like treasure. Wait! Hey! You can't eat that. Why not? We don't know where it's been. Sure we do. In the sandbox. But it's all dirty. And there's nothing to spread it on. We've got our fingers. And our tongues. Jack, that's yucky. But it's all we've got for our picnic. Picnic? Why didn't you say so? I love picnics. What a perfectly picnicky idea. But not here. Let's go out into the country. I love the countryside. Let's go! Me too! Yeah! I think I know just the spot. Come on, you two! We're gonna stay and um keep an eye on the jelly! <laughs> And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song I could most definitely eat here. Just smell all that countryness. Ah. Well, I guess it's okay. What do you mean, okay? It's beautiful! Look at all the pretty flowers! Well, they're pretty, but they're sort of yucky, too. They're not in lines, or rows, or anything. But look at all the butterflies! They're so colorful! They're all right, I guess. There's just not very many of them, are there? Okay, if you don't like it here, we can find someplace else. There must be zillions of nice places around here. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> They're so pretty. Let's eat. I'm hungry as a wolf. <laughs> oh, Fooey. What's the matter, Emma? My dress. It's all muddy. Where? I can't see anything. Here. Oh, it's ruined. That? It's just a little speck. But what about the grass? Um, what about the grass? Don't you think it's a bit too pointy? Too pointy? How can grass be too pointy? <laughs> Careful, Eddie. Oh, with all the mud and pointy grass. It's just too yucky here. Hmm, this place isn't good enough either. Do you want us to find another picnic spot instead? Good thinking, Sophie. Come on! <gasps> <gasps> How about over there? Hmm. Well, okay. Let's try it. Really? Sure, I'm not picky. Here 
will be just fine. Perfect. Well, almost. I'm starving. Let's eat. Hmm. What right now? now? Listen. Isn't it sweet? Oh, it is sweet. It could just be sweeter, that's all. You're a little off-key, little bird. Good luck, little bird! <gasps> what is it, Eddie? Um, the blanket. Wouldn't it be even more perfect over there? You know, you're right. Guys, look! <gasps> oh no! Ew, it's so slimy and slippery. If Emma sees that snail, she'll never want to have a picnic. You're right. And I'm going to eat my shirt if we have to move again. Well, what are we going to do? I'm not touching it. I know. Just keep Emma distracted. What are you going to do, Eddie? Leave it to me. The blanket's a little bumpy. We'll help. Sorry. This picnic is by invitation only. Might be better. Just over. No! Mm hmm. Actually, you're right. Ugh. What's the matter, Sophie? Oh, just a flower. It blew into your hair. Oh, really? No! no! I'll get it. Can I see it? Um, well... Oh, it must have blown away. Never mind. I think we're just about ready to eat. <gasps> A snail! I just love snails. You do? Of course. They're so cute. They are? Sure. Look at their little shell houses. They're perfect little campers. My gosh! We've been trying to hide it. We thought you might think that it's all slimy and yucky. Yucky? But I love the trails that they leave. So shiny and sparkly. Now, Miss Snail, you can sit next to me as our guest of honor. Can I have a sandwich now? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Silly. Finally. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. So good. Wow. Much better. Oh, Jack. Not again. But there's still some in the bottom. I can't get any jelly for me now. Eddie, can you help pull it off? I could try, but Mia's way stronger. She is? Yeah, I'm half orangutan. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. You're welcome. And I'm welcome to this last little bit of jelly. If I can just get this last itty bitty. Ugh. Oh, rats. Phew. <laughs> 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 Water. Water. <sighs> okay, Eddie. Good boy. I've got some water for you. <laughs> Better? 
Yeah. Phew. So hot. It's like a billion degrees out here. Isn't it, Kobe? Uh, oh, yeah. I guess so. You guess so? What's the matter, Kobe? I just found out the worst thing ever. <gasps> what is it? You're allergic to all of us? There's a law against dancing? There's no more peanut butter on planet Earth? Worse than all of those. <sighs> What's worse? Tell us. Please. Come on. <sighs> I'm moving to a new house. Oh, no! But, Kobe! What about Ziggy and the band? And Lucky? And all of us! And all our adventures! Yeah! I've lived in that house and that room my whole life, since I was little. It's where I... where I live. <sighs> oh, Kobe, I'm sorry. This is the worst news ever. Hey! Why don't we do something that'll cheer us up? Yeah, like go on an adventure. We could go somewhere nice and cold, like Snowglobia. That sounds great, doesn't it, Kobe? <sighs> I guess so. Yeah, come on, Kobe. It'll be fun. Okay. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. That's okay. I don't feel like racing. <sighs> huh? Whee! Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, have you seen any trees around here? Uh, I don't think I... What do you want a tree for? I'm looking for a new place to live. Really? Why? My mom and dad brought home my new baby sister, and there's no way I'm sticking around with her there. Why not? Are you kidding? Ugh, all they talk about is new baby this and new baby that. And I was there first. But having a little sister might be fun. Think of all the cool stuff you could teach her. Think of all the noise she makes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Look at my snowman. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm just going to take a little walk. Okay. See you, Kobe. Hurry back. Hey. Wait up. I'm Kobe, by the way. Gabriel. So, don't you think your parents will miss you if you find somewhere else to live? They won't even notice I'm gone. <sighs> I just want things to go back to the way they were. I don't want things to change. <sighs> yeah, me neither. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa! Oops! Sorry. No worries. <clears throat> Delicious snowball. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know if there are any empty igloos around here? Mm, don't think so. Why? He's got a new baby sister, and he doesn't want to hang around. Oh, <laughs> I understand. I have a kid brother. You do? Yep, and he's my best little buddy ever. He is? Sure, but I didn't think so at first. But things change. Well, I don't want any change. Change isn't always easy. I wasn't too happy when my parents moved us all here from the warm jungle. You moved here? 
all the way from the jungle? Yeah, and I thought I would be miserable. But you know what? Snow is so fun! Who knew? At first it wasn't easy to leave my home behind. My parents said, don't worry, soon we think you'll find. Things can change, feel kind of strange. Sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you and brighten up your day. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. Change is the way. Hi, Herbie. That's my brother. Isn't he the cutest? Looks like he can be fun to have a sister or brother. And guess what mom and dad said? We're gonna have another. It feels kind of strange when things start to change. But sometimes it's just that way. But something new might Show you do something. Wow, what is this place? place, place. This is Echo Canyon. Canyon, Canyon. Hello. Hello. You can hear things from all over Snowglobia if you listen. <laughs> That's my mom and dad. They're calling me to come home. <laughs> Sounds like they might be a little worried about you. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> Is that my sister? It must be my sister. Sister, sister, sister. <laughs> sounds like she really misses her big brother. And it sounds like you two might want to go and see her. Kobe, want to meet my new sister? Absolutely. But what about finding an igloo? No thanks. I've got some other changes in mind. Mind. Thanks, Edna. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kobe. <laughs> Your friend's family sure is happy that he's back home. His little sister is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, maybe some changes aren't so bad. Things can change, feels kind of strange. Sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you and brighten up your day. Cha cha, cha cha, change. Change is the way. If monkeys do like something new, then so can. When exactly are you moving? Tomorrow. Oh, rats! I don't want you to go. I'm actually kind of excited. You are? But we'll never see you again. Sure you will. But you'll be so far away. Oh, no! No, no, no! I'm not moving far away. I'm just moving across the street. Across, across the, the street? street? Yeah. Exactly 22 steps from where I live now. 
But I'm really gonna miss my bedroom, and my window, and my closet, and my floor, <laughs> and my ceiling, and my doorknob. <laughs>